Yo, what's good, TJ family? I'm gonna really quick show you guys how I make these kind of realistic replays, and I'm also gonna show you how I do the walkout effect. First of all, you're gonna need to know how to get in replays and film replays. I'm not gonna teach you all that basic stuff. You're gonna need to know how to work the controller and drone camera. You're gonna need my CSP neck effects and my CSP free camera effects. Basically, the free camera effects is only for the mouse sensitivity and you're using the mouse to look around. You also wanna have a mouse cursor hider with your recording software so you can use your mouse and not have it be picked up by the recording. Hi, man. I'm gonna show you how I do my first person camera effects. Basically, it consists of just sitting in your normal first person POV with the neck effects I give you and the free camera settings, which basically has the mouse sensitivities and stuff that you need to have. Position your cam by using the onboard settings and you wanna just make it look nice, you know? I usually like to go for a wider FOV. So I'll bump this up to 90, just like that. Now, when I play my video, I'm gonna hold my right mouse button and I'm gonna look around and I'm gonna make sure I'm on my lowest sensitivity so it's smoother. And right now it's kind of blurry because I limit the FPS to 20 FPS. It's a little trick my friend Maven showed me. It kind of increases the motion blur. But without further ado, let's go ahead and record a POV real quick. Basically, I'm just sitting in first person and I'm just controlling where I look with my right mouse button. And one really good trick that I use is making sure that I keep my cursor on the lead car at all times. Any cuts that I take that I don't follow him through, I'm looking towards those cuts myself because I'm picturing that this is myself driving in this car, looking where I would look in real life. Anyways, man, another tip is kind of going around in a circular motion with your mouse or a figure eight motion, just microscopically. It really creates kind of good jitter effects, like a good realistic head movement effect, I guess. Not really forcing the shakes like this. If you're forcing the shakes like this, it's not gonna come out good, man. It just looks too obvious. You want it to be smooth. You want it to be realistic. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that right here. Right now, I'm tracking the lead car. I'm kind of throwing in a little bit of mini figure eights right now. And I think it's just creating like a really good camera effect. It's like I'm really in this guy's POV driving right now. Yep, just like that. You can also apply this to different angles. Uh, for instance, I'm gonna go into my onboard settings here and I'm gonna just literally just move to the back seat. I don't wanna be seeing the driver's POV now. I wanna be a 360 camera in the back of the car. Maven has settings that you can copy where he's binded this to his keyboard so you guys can just control it that way. But me personally, I just do it this way. So I'm just gonna keep going back. Basically, what this is allowing me to do is I get to pick any camera angle I want, but I get to keep my neck effects. Comes out really nice, for real. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the same technique. Like, that's that's all it is, man. It's the same shit. It's just tracking it with the mouse. Basically, my neck effects are stuck on my car. I'm kinda doing a figure eight pattern. So yeah, basically this is how I get my first person clips or any of my passenger clips, any clips like that, that look kind of realistic. All right, man, now it's officially time for me to teach you how to do the walkout effects. I'm in my replay and I got my controller connected. So now I'm gonna press my start button. And that's gonna allow me to move freely, just like this. And now I can use my arrow keys to move a little bit quicker. I can also do what we were doing before and hold my right mouse button down type shit and I can look around. And you wanna disconnect from the car by pressing Y. I'm gonna do that right now. And now that I'm disconnected from the car, you can see I can fly around and wherever I look, I actually fly. So what I need to do now is I'm gonna press the left thumbstick and that's gonna altitude lock me. So now wherever I look, I'm gonna keep the same altitude. Let me show you guys what my drone camera settings are. You can copy these if you want, but basically I put these down. These are my walking speeds right here. I'm moving around with my left thumbstick on the controller. And basically, I'm just gonna pretend I'm walking. What does walking look like? They're gonna be bobbing their head around. They're not gonna be floating like straight like this. They're gonna be like stepping. Boom, boom, stepping, taking steps, you know? And then bobbing their head. 
It's pretty much the same as what I told you guys before. You're just gonna be tracking the car. And you, if you wanna walk, you wanna kind of bob. So you wanna do micro figure eights and stuff. And you just wanna pretend you're in the game as an actual person, man. Like, I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. I'm actually gonna try and replicate it again for you guys. So you basically wanna incorporate the controller, the mouse. So once you get a clip like that, go ahead and meet me in CapCut Editor, man. Now we're in CapCut, I've imported my clips that I want to use. There's a few effects that I want to show you guys. The first one's going to be wide angle. Go ahead and slap this on. Make sure it's set to about 45. Now you want to hit fisheye. All these effects are going to be free, by the way. Put that fisheye down all the way to 45. Alright, man. The next effect I am going to do is jitter. Now it's going to look a little something like this. I want to have the jitter. I'm going to set that down to about 17. Yep. Next effect I like to use to kind of add a little bit of that, that realism flare like they're holding an old camera is that Betamax. And then go ahead and slap some transitions. I like to use the pull-in. It's one of my favorites. Alright man, and this is how the finished video comes out. So yeah man, peace.